Hey there, Tommy from the Run Testers with another running shoe first run review. In this video, I'm going to be looking at an interesting one. It's the Puma Magnify Nitro 2. Now, I went out to Boston recently to visit Puma to have a look at some of their new designs, some of the developments happening across their various lines. Uh, so I got an early version of the Magnify 2 to test out. Uh, I'm not paid to do this. So I can say whatever I like about it. But big thanks to Puma for getting these to me so that I can do this first run review. The Puma Magnify Nitro costs £130. We don't have a US price yet. It weighs in at 287 grams or 10.1 ounces for men in a size 8 and the drop is 10 millimetres. The Magnify Nitro 2 is the updated version of Puma's Max Cushion Daily Shoe. This improved design includes a full length nitro foam to improve cushioning and provide a touch more firmness. The shoe features an engineered knit upper to provide better step and comfort and a more flexible fit. There's a Puma grip outsole for an impressive level of grip and to increase durability, an internal and external molded heel for a good lockdown fit and medial power tape areas across the shoe to provide support. The fit for me in the Puma Magnify Nitro 2, I'm a size 8. Uh, this is a size 8, but what I would say is I do have a lot of space in the forefoot, so I'd probably say size down half a size in this shoe. Other than that, it's very comfortable. There's a nice level of plushness to the uh, inside of the shoe. Not loads, it's definitely not a shoe I would class as a plush shoe, um, but there's plenty of padding around the tongue and the heel collar to make it very comfortable indeed. The upper is this sort of sock-like design that you get in a lot of shoes, which is a little bit stretchy, um, and the forefoot has quite a bit of room in it so unlike some shoes um, from from Puma uh, there's definitely a nice bit of wiggle room in the forefoot here so it's definitely not a narrow shoe very comfortable had no issues at all in testing this shoe uh, and found it very easy to get a nice lockdown fit from the off so my first run in the Magnify Nitro 2 was um, I took it down to a park run actually um, and I did a bit more running either side of the park run including um, some strides uh, and intervals as well to test out how, how the shoe did at a faster pace. Now, uh, the part run that I did, I wasn't racing. I was taking it fairly steady. So I was running at about four minute 45 kilometers, uh, which for me is sort of my comfortable pace, which is the sort of thing that I would be using the Magnify Nitro 2 for. Uh, and over that pace, I just found it to be very, very comfortable. It's just a really solid, comfortable shoe. Uh, there's quite a bit of cushioning in it but unlike a lot of high cushion shoes that nitro uh, midsole foam is a little bit denser feels a little bit I wouldn't necessarily say firm but it definitely doesn't feel like a really soft experience like you get from something like the nike invincible 3 it's definitely a, a more stable sturdier foam um, you can feel it compressing when you're running in it and it feels very nice and because it's a bit denser you do feel a little bit of bounce off the back of it not loads um, and it's definitely not really dropping you into the ground and, and sinking you in it's, it's a nice little bit of rebound off of it um, so when I was running at the consistent pace it was very comfortable very nice fluid transition from this shoe I never got to try the original Puma Magnify shoe uh, really wanted to try that but never got an opportunity to do it I know Mike was a big fan of that shoe probably one of his favorite Puma shoes um, so there have been some changes made to this um, developments across the um, midsole the, the shape of the shoe is slightly different and some of the upper bits have, have changed slightly as well um, but yeah so what I found across the uh, consistent running that I was doing this very very comfortable very smooth uh, turnover reminds me probably not surprisingly of the Puma Velocity Nitro 2 um, very similar in a lot of ways uh, very comfortable I think obviously this veers more towards the cushion side but I think it would work well as a daily shoe as well that veers more towards that cushion side because that midsole foam is a little bit more um, responsive than some of the softer shoes out there um, so definitely a good option if you're looking for a daily shoe that skews more towards that cushion side of things now on the interval blocks that I was doing so I was getting down to about three 20 minute kilometers for those it delivered very well surprisingly well I wouldn't often do intervals in a cushion shoe or heavily cushion shoe um, but I think that midsole works very well in it. I, I probably wouldn't use this for intervals normally. It was just because I, I was testing it on the day and I wanted I needed to do some intervals. Um, so, but it did do very well. I think it's it's a bit more versatile than you get from uh, a lot of high cushioned 
shoes because it's just got a little bit more from that midsole foam as well uh, and yeah delivered really well really enjoyed running in it over over that run uh, and looking forward to doing some longer mileage in it the outsole is puma grip it's fantastic it's got one of the uh more chunky layers of outsole rubber on it um and it was fantastic uh, it wasn't wet when i ran on it so i can't can't speak for what it's like in the wet but puma grip never had an issue with any shoe that they've got um, on the wet or tricky conditions so yeah there's more of the same on there it's really thick there's a lot of um, sort of grippy design on it so yeah Puma Grip fantastic as usual I found the upper to be very comfortable on the run as well uh, the sock light design is it's a little bit like the 1080 uh, V 10 11 12 style where you it's a little bit sock like a little bit elasticated it's not as much as the um, 1080 V range um, and there's a lot of power tape running across the top of the upper, so it's a bit more structured than something like that. Uh, it actually has more of a conventional feel when you're running it. It feels a little bit more like um, shoes like the Brooks Glycerin and the Saucony Triumph, those sorts of shoes, as opposed to sort of a really um, lightweight, new new style shoe, um, which is good. It really holds your foot in place. I, did, I think there's definitely a level of stability in this shoe, which um, is going to be a, a nice thing for a lot of people. I think um, it's not stability that you really notice but it does feel stable uh, and definitely holds the foot firmly in place across uh, terrain so really good shoe if you're looking for a little bit of support um, but don't really want a stability shoe so my verdict on the Puma Magnify 2 uh, after that first run is that it's a fantastic cushion shoe uh, and Puma does this with a lot of shoes. It's It sort of sits outside of the normal realms of the category that it sits in. This is a cushion shoe, it's got a lot of cushioning in, but that midsole is not very similar to a lot of other cushion shoes out there. You either tend to get really soft midsole or really high stack. Um, this just feels a little bit more accessible. It's a little bit more of a daily shoe. Uh, it's definitely a shoe that you could buy um, and have it as your like one shoe if you're more of a general runner. I wouldn't use it for racing. It's definitely not a shoe that's designed for racing unless you're the sort of runner that maybe is doing half marathons and marathons and you just want a really sturdy, solid, slightly versatile cushion shoe to get you over the finish line in, in comfort. And then I think it would be a great option for that. So it's definitely a shoe that for a lot of people will be the one shoe that they need uh, across all of their runs. Uh, for me, it would sit into my rotation as, it's a tricky one because uh, I love cushioning. I, I definitely always have something like the New Balance More V4 in for those easy cushioned runs, those comfortable uh, longer efforts where I just want a really nice stack of cushioning in it. Um, so I'd probably still reach for the More V4 if I was doing that. But I do think this is a little bit more versatile. So say I was going on holiday and I wanted one pair of shoes that could do a lot, different terrain, uh, different types of run, all those things. I think this is a solid shoe for that. Um, and I definitely think for some people that want a cushion shoe but don't really love as much cushioning as I do, I think it's a great option as well. It definitely feels like it's protecting the feet uh, and protecting the knees, all those sorts of things, but without having a massive wedge of cushioning that feels very soft. Okay, so that's it from me on the Puma Magnify Nitro 2 first run. I'll be continuing to test this and the other guys should be getting some of their own soon. So we'll be doing a full multi-test review at some point. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the little bell, anything like that. Uh, and if you go into the caption below, you can find a link to the most recent podcast where if you're listening to this in April, it's all about buying running watches. So if you're in the market for a running watch, then it's maybe worth watching that because we've got all our guidance on what you need to know when you're doing that. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you next time.